Hydrofoils are typically fast-speed watercraft that utilize underwater wings to rise above the water surface, decreasing the drag and allowing to reach higher speeds. This technology has been in development since the end of the 19th century, but due to the complexity of construction and high price, its popularity has been on the steady decline since peaking in 1970s. However, we have been noticing a recent trend within the personal water transport, when many manufacturers have been turning back to the flying design. In this episode of Automotive Territory, let's explore the newest and the most impressive hydrofoil watercraft of today that might still reshape the future of seafaring. Subscribe to our channel, click that bell button to get notified about the next episodes, and enjoy the cruise! Foiler This flying yacht by the United Arab Emirates Nata Marine made its world debut in 2018 and was remembered for the presence of white hydrofoils anchored in the water. For 2020, however, the foiler arrives with significant technical and design developments. Its propulsion system is now represented by two V8 diesel engines that power the boat's torpedoes with combined output of 740 horsepower. In the cruise mode, the yacht develops 20 mph, but in the hydrofoil-only mode, it rises above the water at 5 feet, reaching the maximum speed of 46 mph. The switching between the modes takes mere seconds with a single push of a button, while the rigid carbon fiber hydrofoils provide stability even with 10-foot waves. Equipped to the highest luxury standards, the foiler is offered in three layouts, but a customer can also order a custom build. Hydrus HY41 The Swiss boat developer Hydrus Innovation has been active since 2010 creating five astonishing waterfaring projects that vary from racing catamarans to huge freight carriers. Among them is a 41-foot HY41 that should be capable of developing the max speed of 52 mph while flying 3 feet above the surface of the water. In 2014, the motor yacht was first presented in the form of the HYX prototype, scaled to 50% of the original size and performed using lightweight carbon fiber. The situation was equipped with the two 35 horsepower engines and demonstrated seamless transition from boats to hydrofoil modes, hitting the max speed of 34.4 miles per hour and achieving a 30% reduction in fuel consumption. We must mention, however, that it has been almost five years since the HYX was first launched, and there is still no indication when we will see her go into production. Wave Flyer at the first glance, the Australian Wave Flyer is nothing more than a regular jet ski, except for the fact that in reality it is 100% electric and equipped with hydrofoils. Its design merges the advantages of the hydrofoil surfboards and boats, allowing up to two riders to fly over the water safely and comfortably. The Wave Rider prototype is developed by Electro Arrow in cooperation with the students and staff from the University of Western Australia, who hope to bring it into commercial production in the nearest future. It utilizes a patent-pending Wave Drive twin hydrofoil propulsion system juiced by a 2 kWh battery that offers 30 minutes of water fun. Cormoran K7 Claimed to be one of the most technologically advanced boats ever built, the Cormoran K7 has been developed combining stability of a catamaran, exciting sailing of a hydrofoil, and comforts of a classic luxury yacht. In order to adjust to any situation, she can transform with a push of a button and face the waves in driving, gliding, flying, and breathtaking modes. And the last one, the K7 becomes a multifunction platform for driving, sunbathing, or even partying. The 23-feet model is constructed using Formula One, Aviation, and America's Cup technology, so she has a carbon fiber monocoque and hydraulic arms built with titanium and stainless steel. Depending on the chosen configuration, the boat is powered by two or three engines, generating from 310 horses to very impressive 900 ponies, and it has the maximum hydrofoil speed of 44 mph. The Bubble Initially, the hydrofoil was developed as an innovative water taxi for up to four passengers and a pilot, with the task to beat heavy traffic within shore cities. However, soon after, the idea was scrapped and replaced with a focus on selling to individual customers as a vessel for adventurous sea exploration. 
The Bubble is powered by a pure electric powertrain, which consists of two 24 horsepower strong motors coupled with a 41 kWh battery. The full charge will cover 40 miles of range, or 2.5 hours of operation. The production specifications are expected to reach 16 mph cruise speed and 20 mph top speed, while the so called takeoff will occur at just 7.5 mph. The hydrofoil has simple joystick controls, while the interior design is inspired by the car industry. Lift E foil the market of e-foils has recently exploded, with many new startups jumping on the hype train. But we still should remember the Puerto Rico-based Lyft, who created the original model and remained the premium manufacturer within the segment. Their lineup consists of four models, labeled as Pro, Sport, Cruiser and Explorer, ranging in length from 4.4 to 6.2 feet. When surfing on the e-foil, you fly about 2 feet above the water and control the direction with a wireless remote. This water vehicle has the top speed of 25 miles per hour, which is pretty fast and fun, but diminishes the battery rather quickly. So you might want to slow down a bit to squeeze out up to 90 minutes of surfing time. The Lift E foil weighs just 29 pounds, is easily assembled and taken apart, so won't take more space than a regular surfing board. Just wanted to let you know that despite our channel's name, we cover the wide variety of motorized vehicles from watercraft to automobiles and gigantic planes. So make sure to check out other episodes as well, once you are done watching this video, of course. The links with suggestions will be displayed on the screen. Let's keep going! Cantella Claimed to be the first 100% electric hydrofoil of its class, the Swedish Cantella employs ambitious design approach to compete with hybrid and conventional IC rivals. A large inverted T-foil and a smaller one in the aft are hidden underneath the ultralight 202-pound carbon body. Once the boat exceeds the speed of 19 miles per hour, the wings are released and the Candela can reach 34 miles per hour. The operation of the foils is fully automated, allowing the model to use 75% less energy than traditional speed boats. As a result, the 44 kWh battery powering the 75 horsepower motor can provide the maximum range of 58 miles. To reach these numbers, the Swedes developed their own software and added a 7-sensor system that adjusts the height, roll and pitch of the hydrofoils up to 100 times per second. Hydrofoiler XE1 The XE1 by the New Zealand Cementa 5 is the world's first hydrofoil e-bike that introduces yet another way to experience freedom of riding over lakes, rivers and oceans. It uses two hydrofoils to remain above the water and is brought into motion by paddling that is amplified by a 460 watt waterproofed electric motor. The front hydrofoil combination self levels, allowing riders to punch through moderate wind chop and overswell. The XE1 has aircraft grade T6 aluminum frame and lightweight carbon fiber components. The lithium ion battery is removable, can be recharged using a standard wall socket in 5 hours and it has IP68 water resistance rating. Depending on the rider's weight and conditions of riding, the vehicle can stay afloat up to 1 hour, and if the water is flat, speeds up to 14 miles per hour can be reached. Quadrofoil This two-seater personal watercraft is probably one of the most recognizable hydrofoils in the recent years, both for being all-electric and futuristically looking. The quadrofoil uses special seafoil technology to be lifted above the water, seemingly flying through the air and resembling a water strider insect. Due to her lightweight composite body, underwater wings and a patented steering system, the Q2 catamaran is able to rise at only 7.5 miles per hour. As of today, the company carries three modifications of the hydrofoil. The entry-level Q2A, powered by a 3.7 kW motor and a 5.2 kWh battery, the middle range Q2S that doubles the capabilities, and the already sold out limited edition. Depending on the chosen trim, you can expect from 1 to 2 hours or 25 to 50 miles of water cruising while reaching speeds of 25 mph. All American Marine 78 Reliance the Washington-based manufacturer has been operating for over 30 years, initially specializing in production of large fishing boats. In the late of the 1990s, with the decline of the industry, the company restructured and focused on building aluminum passenger vessels instead. 
Later, the All-American Marine teamed up with the New Zealand's Technicraft design, incorporating groundbreaking hydrofoil-assisted hull designs into their new builds. Among the newest ones is the 78 feet long and 28 feet wide Reliance Catamaran that can transport 118 passengers and was delivered to the customer Kitsap Transit in March 2019. This Ferris propulsion system consists of quad Hamilton water jets and four Caterpillar C18 engines, each making 814 horses. Thanks to the dynamic hydrofoil system, this ship uses less fuel and can travel at 42 miles per hour speeds when full while producing low wake. What are your thoughts about the hydrofoil design? If you're an expert in the field, share some insights. If not, just tell us which models are your favorite in the comments below. Do not hesitate to watch the suggested episodes on the screen. Subscribe to Automotive Territory to stay informed about the new videos. Like, share, and may the torque be with you!